who runs the world? Beyonce, duh! For over 25 years, Queen Bey has been giving us iconic fashion moments on stage, on the red carpet, and in her music videos. Let's count down her best looks ever. Golden Goddess at the Grammys In early February 2017, Beyoncé released these stunning photos on social media to announce that she and Jay-Z were expecting twins. Two weeks later, she performed at the Grammys in an ethereal golden gown and matching goddess headpiece. The stunning dress, which highlighted her baby bump, was custom designed by Peter Dundas. He embellished it to include special references to Beyoncé's life and music. At the center of her belly was a medallion with a portrait of Beyoncé's face. Beside that, two cherubs decked out in ivy. Get it? Two baby cherubs, as in her twins? And ivy, as in blue ivy? They basically had an entire family portrait embroidered on her gown. She delivered twins Rumi and Sir about four months later on June 13, 2017. The Crazy in Love Dress in 2003, Beyoncé released her first solo album without Destiny's Child. Her lead single was Crazy in Love, and one of the looks she wore in the music video was a plunging orange dress from Versace's 2003 collection. The dress was iconic enough on its own, but the very next month, Beyoncé stepped it up at the BET Awards. For her very first solo performance ever, they wore a purple and neon green mini dress from the same Versace collection. Nearly 20 years later, Zendaya showed up to the 2021 BET Awards in a longer version of the gown as a tribute to the queen. Met Gala 2014 Beyonce at the 2014 Met Gala. Hmm, why does that sound familiar? We'll tell you why. It was the night of the infamous showdown between Beyoncé's sister Solange and her husband, Jay-Z, in the elevator. But forget about all that drama. This video is about fashion! That year, Beyoncé showed up to the costume gala wearing a sheer black Givenchy dress. The plunging neckline and see-through underlining showed off the star's curves. She accessorized with a dramatic birdcage headpiece, burgundy lipstick, and dark chandelier earrings. This vintage noir-inspired look was a real departure for Beyoncé. We love a star who can take a fashion risk! The Lion King premiere Beyoncé voiced Nala in Disney's live-action remake of The Lion King. And for the London premiere in 2019, she showed up in gorgeous deep yellow gown that matched the red, er, yellow carpet. It was a custom design by Kong Tree and featured a cutout neckline and ridiculously high leg slit. This event was also notable because it was the first time Bay met Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. As Beyonce leaned in for a hug, she was spotted saying, My princess. And in that stunning yellow number, Beyonce was the queen. Gucci Glamour Last year, Beyonce showed up to the red carpet for the Wearable Art Gala. She opted for old Hollywood glamour, but with a slightly modern edge. Bay wore a form-fitting Gucci gown by designer Alessandro Michel. It featured a black satin bodice, feather trim train, and a white bust with sequin silver stars. The singer accessorized with hot pink satin opera gloves by Gucci and glittery diamond earrings. To complete the look, she put her hair in soft retro curls. Met Gala 2015 In 2015, Beyoncé showed up to the Met Gala at the very last second. Hey, give her a break, she was fashionably late. For the theme, China Through the Looking Glass, Bay chose to wear this scintillating Givenchy dress. Designer Ricardo TC created the skin-colored illusion tulle gown special for Beyoncé. He added crystals and stones to both highlight and cover her curves. Beyoncé capped off the ensemble with a high ponytail. Sheer genius! The Lemonade Dress When Jay-Z cheated on Beyoncé in 2014, she decided to work through her emotions by writing the 2016 album Lemonade. And like Princess Diana before her, she needed a killer revenge dress. In the music video for her song Hold Up, Beyoncé wore a now legendary ruffled yellow dress as she smashed up car windows with a baseball bat. The off-the-shoulder Roberto Cavalli number was designed by the label's creative director, Peter Dundas. He also made her gold Grammys gown the following year. Both dresses were meant to channel African goddess Ocean, the Yoruba deity of love, change, and prosperity. 
Jay-Z is lucky Ocean wasn't the deity of divorce. Destiny's Child in Grammy's Green Before she went solo, Beyoncé was known for wearing coordinated outfits with her fellow members of Destiny's Child. They were usually designed by the group's official costume designer, Beyoncé's mama, Tina Knowles. For the 2001 Grammy, Bay, Kelly Rowland, and Michelle Williams wore matching green sequin gowns. That year, they took home two awards, including Best R&B Performance for Say My Name. Gold at the Golden Globes In 2007, Beyoncé went for the Golden Globes, where she was nominated for Best Performance by an Actress in a Comedy or Musical for her role in Dreamgirls. On the red carpet, Queen Bey rocked a gorgeous golden Ellie Saab dress with a plunging neckline. Even though she was dressed like a golden statue, Beyoncé didn't win her award that night. Meryl Streep took home the globe for her performance in The Devil Wears Prada. Fashionably late to the Grammys At this year's Grammy Awards, Beyoncé didn't show up until halfway through the ceremony because she got stuck in traffic. The downside of hosting the Grammys in LA is the traffic. Beyonce is on her way. Hey, it happens to stars too. She even missed picking up one of her awards. But when she finally did show up, she made sure to serve us a look. Thank you so much to the Grammys. Bay wore a shimmering metallic silver Gucci dress with high ruffled leg slit and tan bustier top. She added jewels and black opera gloves to complete the standout look. 2011 Met Gala in 2011, the Met Gala theme was Alexander McQueen, Savage Beauty, and Bay showed up in a stunning black and gold Emilio Pucci gown. The embroidered, figure-hugging dress featured a regal collar, shimmering sequins, and a flared tulle mermaid skirt. She accessorized with Lorraine Schwartz jewelry and Sergio Rossi heels. Even though the look was gorgeous, the bottom part of the dress made walking around the red carpet extremely difficult and trying to get up the Met Gala's famous steps was basically impossible. Stylist Ty Hunter and Jay-Z had to physically help Beyoncé up the stairs. Get into formation, boys! See, this is why mermaids stick to swimming. The Bob Mackie Flame Dress In 2005, Beyoncé paid homage to legendary singer Tina Turner by performing for her at the annual Kennedy Center Honors. Not only did Bay sing Tina's hit Proud Mary, she also wore one of Tina's iconic looks, the legendary sequined flame dress designed by Bob Mackie. If you're a Bob Mackie fan, you know how close he and Cher are. So while Cher was the first celebrity to wear the flame dress in 1978, Tina Turner wore it at a concert the very same year. 27 years later, Beyoncé honored Tina and Bob by rocking the dress, which was designed to sparkle like dynamite when its sequins were hit by the stage lights. Everyone involved with this look was an absolute legend. What's your favorite Beyoncé look? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.